Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you all could join me for another week of your general reading. So I pray that you all are doing well, staying safe and taking care of yourselves and just being the big cats that you are. So as you know, this is a channel where I give tea straight, no chaser, however, with compassion. But if there are some things in this message that do not resonate with you or that you don't agree with, then leave those messages at the door, leave them on the floor for somebody else that will come along and pick them up. I promise you, I guarantee you. Also, um, if you like this video, please hit the like button and like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is all in the description box. So, as I announced to you last week, um, my quintessential crew, my QCs, I'm glad you are back to join me. So, you know, and if you don't know what the quint uh, QCs are, the quintessential crew, that's what it is. Uh, it's a cute little play on my name and for my uh, channel's name and also for the people who um, support me and who just watch me because we are all essential here. So, I shuffle the cards, but I'm just giving them a little bit extra love shuffle <laughs> before we get into the reading. So, let's go. What is going on with y'all? All right. So we have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords comes out in the reverse. So that is good. So I love it. So, you know, um, this is moving on from heartbreak, heartache, the Heartbreak Hotel. You know, that's what I love to call this Three of Swords card. No matter what tarot deck it comes out or Oracle deck, um, any card that it represents the Three of Swords, that's the Heartbreak Hotel because... <clears throat> You know, we've all been there at some point. Now, this heartbreak, it doesn't always have to be by um, a romantic partner, but for the most part, it usually is by somebody who we were intimate with in some way of that nature. But the Heartbreak Hotel card, honey, you can experience that with anybody in your life, whether this is uh, your family, your friends, your coworkers, your, um, your pets, <laughs> you know? So... It just talks about disappointment and um, heartbreak. But coming out in the reverse like this, this is saying that somebody is now working on moving on from that. You know, they're not in that energy anymore. Consolation. Right. Here we go. Consolation. So, you know, somebody had to really probably console themselves, you know, is what I'm picking up. Uh, from this energy, you know, just have to find a way of consoling themselves. Yeah, maybe they had some family or some friends or whoever, you know, that they could talk to and vent to. But after a while, you know, that gets old. <laughs> you know, that gets a bit old, you know, just uh, singing the same old sob story to, um, you know, people, the ones who are close to us. Because eventually there needs to come a time where we really need to start working on this healing um on ourselves. So instead of crying about it and complaining about it and talking about it so incessantly, there comes that moment when we have to just say, you know what, maybe I should just shut my mouth, <laughs> you know, and I've been guilty of that too. Um, so that's why I can speak very freely and honestly about this. So I don't want to offend, offend I'm a friend, you know, if you want to be friend, we're all friends here. Okay. So let's talk it. Um, I don't want to fan anybody who is currently going through the heartbreak or the disappointment, but just know that there's always the other side of the storm. You know, after the storm, then the rain, I mean, after the rain and the storm comes, then the sun comes back out. You know, the uh, rain actually helps clear the air. So there are some things, somebody has cleared the air for themselves is what I'm saying. So instead of being in this um, negative Nancy or negative Ned mode, you know, just harping on a situation that is long past, whatever the situation was, now they finally just found a lot of, they, they, they consoled themselves, you know, they found a way to just get out of this. And um, yeah, just looking looking on the bright side, you know, looking up from the situation. Once we pick our heads up, you know, because we have a tendency if we're feeling down in the dumps, then we're just always down, right? We're looking down. But it's like, up. Oh, universe said, pick that chin up, look forward to what's ahead of you, and let's keep going. We still have work to do. We still have responsibilities and things that we must do, you know? Um it's okay to be in a heartbreak hotel. You know, I always say this. It's okay to be in a heartbreak hotel. That's what heartbreak hotel is. That's what the hotels are for. You go and you stay for, you know, a um, 
however amount of time. The thing is, we never want to get stuck there. You know, it's like the Hotel California by the Eagles. If you've never heard that song, it's a 70s rock song. I love that song. But um, that song pretty much was saying how people get caught up and, you know, uh, get wrapped up in the obsessions, temptations, and things of that nature, and just toxic patterns or behaviors that keep them stuck somewhere. Same thing with Heartbreak Hotel, because if we stay there for too long, we start to become very toxic. We start to become very toxic to ourselves. We start to become very um, toxic to the other people who are around us as well, because when we're in that negative energy, we become very pessimistic about things. All right, so next we have the Four of Pentacles. And then we have the um, Despair card. So, you know, this Despair card, it actually came out for Aries reading. It came out in the same position, <laughs> honestly. Um, I feel as if in the past, someone was holding on to something so tightly that that was really all that they could focus on. Whether they were, okay, maybe somebody was focusing on this um, this heartbreak hotel situation right there. Uh, maybe somebody was too wrapped up in that and they were just holding on to the pain. So yeah, that's it, holding on to this despair. That's another point that I was going to say before the um, I flipped these cards over. Um, when we visit heartbreak hotel, <laughs> Or go to the place of um, of shit, <laughs> you know, when shit hits the fan and then we're just, you know, going crazy right there and just stuck in like some emotional turmoil. The longer and longer that we stay there, as I said, the more and more that it starts to really eat away at us, the more and more that it really starts to affect us, not only physically, but especially mentally, emotionally and spiritually because if we're cut off spiritually that means we are not connected we're not connected to ourselves we're not connected to um other people we're not, not connected to our pets our animals whatever it is our family our friends but most of all we're not connected to the universe we're not feeling as if we are connected we're not having that connection with source whatever source is for you whether that is god whether that is um buddha or whether, you know, you no belief at all. You know what? Well, hey, I'm not judging. But what I call it is universe, God, source, divine. It's all the same to me. What I'm saying is somebody was just so completely in this heartbreak hotel that they were cut off in a lot of ways. Um, and probably cut themselves off. But they were doing themselves a disservice to them because holding on to this heartbreak and holding on to that pain and holding on to that negativity and all of the... Um, the guilt, the shame, everything that comes with that, because that's what I'm feeling. The more and more that someone was holding on to that, the deeper and deeper that they were digging a hole for themselves. Next, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Comes out in the reverse as well. And then frivolity. So I just feel as if with this energy, um, you know, with this wheel, I always say it, what goes up must come down. But sometimes when things are up and when we are not paying attention, when we are not um, um, trusting our intuition, when we are not taking action or taking charge or doing the things, being responsible for the things the way that we should, then we have a tendency to be here. And then we start going downhill, you know? So I feel as if with this energy right here and with it coming out with the frivolity card, someone had to, someone, someone's working on changing. Someone's working on changing. So changing different, okay. Yeah, like changing past, changing past, changing, going, moving forward into a destiny, um, whatever destiny is for them, <laughs> you know, whatever that new path is for them, but it takes a uh, transformation for them to do that. But I just feel as if, um, also what this is saying is someone was giving too much time, attention, resources to other things 
instead of giving them si them themselves themselves that time that attention that um that nourishment that caring you know just finding self worth within themselves so just kind of looking for um looking for self worth and love and uh, whatever it was that they thought that they needed from other things and other people, they were looking for those things in um, others. But they needed to uh, they needed to do a complete turnaround for themselves. They need to do a complete transformation for themselves. So I just feel as if that is why now we are in this energy of um, you know healing the heartbreak. You know, just being our own comforter. Uh, being our own comforter, pretty much. Now, shy is going through my head. Y'all, these songs have just been rocking my brain all week long. I'm in I'm like 90s mode, like every single day. I go to sleep with a song in my head. I wake up with songs in my head throughout the day, just songs, songs, songs. Then I'm doing all of these readings. Um, <laughs> so if you have any other placements in your chart for any other um, zodiac signs here, go check out their videos. And I'm sure you'll hear more songs right here. But Shy was an R&B group from the early 90s. And they had a song called Comforter. It was a very popular song. So somebody had to learn how to be their own comforter. Instead of um, looking for other people to take comfort in or to shield them in a way. You know, somebody had to really just transform and change and do things differently um, for themselves. Because this is, I just feel like codependent codependency you know or something here you know frivolity talks about uh, being very, very uh, uh, free with giving away something or just always seeking something fluttering like this butterfly you know it represents change and transformation which is what I was talking about but also butterflies you know they don't stick to one flower or one plant or something they they're fluttering they're always fluttering. they're beautiful animals but they're always fluttering they're always going about which is fine for the butterfly because that's what they do. But us as humans, um, our job is to flock to here first, flock to ourselves instead of flocking to other things and other situations thinking that they're going to bring us some kind of relief or some kind of comfort. Here we go with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and then the Soldier card. It's been a battle. Love is a battlefield. To Pat Benatar. See? The songs. But um, it's been a battle right here. And I just feel as if somebody is not willing to work on... They're struggling with... Um, hmm, struggling with investing in like something past. Like a past relationship. A past job. Or past something. Whatever this was that maybe brought them this... A heartache in the first place you know maybe this is something that they've been struggling against and having to really um soldier on with it as i said whoever here was in this place of despair or whoever was in this place of heartbreak you know it could have been um more than one person as well but we all have to stand as individuals that's what i'm trying to get to so yeah, if, if if in a love situation, for instance, you have a breakup, you have um, maybe one person initiated the breakup, but more than likely, at least nine times out of ten, you know, unless the other person just didn't give a damn, you know, and just said, "All right, I'm done, I'm out." Which there are some relationships that are like that, and somebody does not, you know, they cut their losses and then they go on about their business. But I just feel as if with whatever this particular situation was, if this was talking about a relationship, then this was mutual energy that was shared between people, you know, not feeling as if they could really build on this. So they had to kind of soldier on by themselves, you know, no matter what the um, circumstances were. So it people just really had to 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 gear up, you know, for themselves Um fight for themselves too and fight for whatever it was that they were that they're wanting to build within them so you again um leo apply this energy to wherever it goes it does not have to be a relationship but that is usually the most simplest terms to put it in where people understand and let's keep it real um people usually seek readings or look at readings because it's dealing with a love relationship but that's not always the case um <clears throat> there could have been a virgo 
involved with this. Interesting. Uh, because the Eight of Pentacles, you know, it just talks about um, Virgo energy right there. So, you know, if this is not you, this could have been with a Virgo, you know. So, are any Earth signs? I'm feeling like Earth signs, especially with these Pentacles, you know, coming out right there. So, um, Earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, uh, Capricorn right there. But, um, yeah, somebody had to really just soldier up. Soldier up for themselves Or both people Or whatever the uh, case Next we have The nine of wands in the reverse And the queen of cups In the reverse as well These actually both came out for um, Aries I mean um, yeah Aries reading And then scholar right there So I feel as if with this energy, somebody might be coming off or they've come off as maybe a bit emotionally cold. And I just feel as if they're doing this or they had to come off this way because whatever happened right here with the heartbreak and just um, getting over it, um, you know, it maybe put someone in a position of maybe feeling a bit... Uh, what is it? You know, when we have that tendency of when we go through a heartbreak or when we uh, get disappointed or something, you know, it just puts us in that tendency sometimes to say, well, I'm just not going to try again. I'm not going to give anybody else a chance. I'm not going to do that. So, you know, I just feel as if somebody might be um, just maybe emotionally cold right now, maybe cut themselves off uh, emotionally. And maybe they're doing that just so they can stay focused, so they can stay focused on their own goals, so they can stay focused and stay shielded, you know, from any potential future heartbreaks or anything. But, you know, what this is saying to me, you know, which nothing wrong with that, especially if you're fresh off a heart, um, a love situation or some kind of situation of that nature, then yes, take that time for yourself. However, we are human. We still feel, we still have feelings, we still, um, you know, have uh, needs. We have the need to be loved and we have the need to love as well. You know, that's what makes the world go, I was about to say the girls go round. <laughs> that's what makes the girls and the boys go round, okay, love. But, um, you know, taking time out to, um, you know, put your heart on ice. That's okay sometimes. However, take the heart out of the ice box. Don't let it sit in there too long. Don't let it freeze over. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, take time out to get to know you, to heal yourself, to understand yourself, to, um, you know, uh, what's the word I want to say? Because now I'm looking at this soldier card. Debrief, you know, uh, that's what I'm getting after like a when, a when a battle or something happens like during war Then you know the military they debrief right there Take time now to debrief so I feel as if somebody might be debriefing right now They're debriefing everything that has occurred that's gone on with this and you know that the heart might be on ice for a moment but um You know that's I think that's just for them to Get in a better place So Leo And I'm surprised that Wait no, okay no we did have uh, Fire energy right there I'm like geez We had a whole Leo reading and no fire Energy with the nine of wands that came Out um, you know in the reverse Right there but it's alright Anyway Leo um, I hope you all Enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe To my channel and if you want a personal Reading my information is in the description box I will talk to you later God bless you stay safe Bye bye